Dear Diary, good morning, as a beginning. So, it's now uh, 21st March, Tuesday. It's 14 degrees outside, and it's 12 and 54 p.m. right now. <clears throat> so, um, yesterday, I was a little bit of digging in. And I've decided to get into one of the servers. Apparently a new server related to one of my old friends. And I thought that they wouldn't recognize me at all. Or even would make would make any kind of, you know, friend reunion reaction. I thought they would be like, uh, who are you? With some skull emojis or whatsoever. But thankfully, like thankfully... She, it was quite different. They actually recognized me, and they actually like said my name in full caps. And they were like, I haven't seen you in forever, which is honestly quite unexpected. And it's pretty much another reminder that I was actually at home. You know, I was right at home during that time when I was... When, during the time when I was with all of them, you know, truly, like, true friendship, you know. Meanwhile, uh, today, uh, today's morning was pretty, pretty decent. Uh, got to be awake, made some breakfast and whatsoever, and of course, took a shower. And, um, right now it's all relaxing, but even though, but even with all that, I still haven't really achieved anything decent, anything good out of being on Twitter. And, uh, I don't know, apparently I might just have to get out of there pretty early. Or something like that. Well, I mean, at least things are going to be good, I guess. You know? Oh, well. So, like right now, things are still pretty, pretty empty. Like, no good. And thankfully, I was able to stumble across other friends that are apparently still there and let me tell you it was pretty nice you know pretty nice but uh, right now uh, but right now again no replies nothing even though there should be any kind of reply until now but um I guess it should be obvious by something. I don't even know. Well, in any case, like, but honestly, but honestly, like, if I if I'm not able to reach out to them or have their discords by that week or at least three days later or something, I guess, like, I guess what happened has happened. I mean, my biggest mistake was ever ditching them in the first place, because after all, I'm not on Twitter. And it kind of gives me the feeling that most of those people that I'm trying to reach out to have either, like, um, have already left their accounts to, to be left in the dust, or they pretty much quit social media, or, like, it's pretty, um, I guess it's pretty decent, you know, I, I guess, I guess, like, I'm gonna be fine with only a few of my friends out there, but I'm still gonna miss them a lot. Some people would say, why don't you just go back on Twitter as a roleplay account, people would recognize you. But with whatever new shenanigans you must be carrying around. Well, let me 
much as I think that it would be a good idea as well, but it isn't. Believe me, it isn't. Like, I could be targeted by Derek or any of the assholes from the server. Because, you know, those other those assholes from the server have a fucking Twitter as well. Especially Angry Terry. Or, or that Park Sister fucker. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't really mean to be saying out their names or making up nicknames like that or something out in the public or something, but uh, let's be real. Let's be real. It had to be done. Okay. And uh, right now, as of right now, um, yeah. And of course, roleplay Twitter nowadays has become pretty picky. You know, the preferences, the many rules that are so strict that are gonna change, change an entire uh, thing. And of course, and of course, the singular ships and uh, and the sexual. And again, the sexual preferences and whatsoever during roleplay and whatsoever. So, and of course, the mentality of the people out in the, in the roleplay communities, especially the FGC roleplay community. Like, I cannot stand being head to head with one of the people from the FGC roleplay community. I'm telling you, it's a fucking disaster. Alright, it became a fucking disaster. So I can't, I just can't imagine myself facing up to any of the people, and even any of my older friends. I'll be, I'll be heavily found out, you know. Especially when, especially with people who have their interactions only on timeline. So it's. It's just not gonna be good, you know. So I just, I'm just not gonna go back on Twitter at any time or in any shape. Someone, someone give me a lot of suggestion, like make a new uh, writer's deck, make a new way of being OOC, make a new way of, uh, you know, role playing your own stuff instead of using your old stuff. That would be cool. That would be cool to the point where no one is going to recognize me. But again, it's still not going to work. Like like I said, I will be targeted to this. And, uh, yeah. Best to be safe than sorry. Yeah, that's my whole preference of being safe than sorry. Just do not ever get into the whole thing. So again, it's better to be safe than sorry. Believe me, it's it really, really, it really makes a fucking difference. On the more on more positive sides, other than reuniting with that other friend, uh, six days left until my old Discord account gets deleted. I know I. I know it's getting kind of annoying talking about my Discord, my old Discord account, but for real, I just, I'm just happy that I could, that I not only can remove most of the fucking messed up memories and, you know, all the shit that happened, even though I'm gonna be sad that I'm not gonna be able to unite with most of my older friends and whatsoever. But, on another positive side, I can be, I'm gonna be away from all the cyber talking, of all the people that are attempting to come at me, and literally, like, try and ruin my damn day, and I just cannot handle it, for real. Like, for real, I wouldn't be able to handle it at all, so... It would be just better if I deleted that one. And not only that, like, not only I will be getting peace 
but I would be, you know, I'll be able to do my real life tasks without any kind of pain in the ass, you know, without, um, without being triggered or being forced to literally be absent so I can just be all ready for whatever else is next, really. It's just that important. I'm dead serious. So, like I said, I'm pretty happy that I'm going to be deleting my old account. And, uh, like, it saddens me at the same time. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm pretty sad about deleting that account because I'm going to be losing a lot of my old friends. I wouldn't be able to reach them out. However, at the very least, I will be able to, uh, you know, at the very least, at the very least, I'll be able to move on with my life with pretty much a fresh start and lots of things. And I will be back to, you know, having a... Uh, having a decent life even though that decent life requires me to pay a pretty a pretty stupid price that I honestly have hated from a long time but better than nothing which is being ignored and barely having interactions even with the older friends intact and honestly I don't mind paying that price as long as it as long as it will get me away from troubles. No, seriously. As long as it will get me away from all kinds of internet bullshit troubles and all the fucking cyber stalking and whatsoever, I'm all down for that. Really. I'm all down for it. So, uh, in a sense, I think it got pretty cool. Meanwhile, uh, slowly been returning and been getting into other new video games. I wouldn't really call them new, but still. And I might just do something that is pretty stupid, which is basically getting into the CD, the Philips CDI emulation. Which means, I'm gonna be, later on, emulating the shit out of, uh, Hotel Mario, and listening to the iconic, Nice of the Princess to invite us over for a picnic, eh, gay Luigi? I hope she made lots of spaghetti. Or, in, like, Traces of Evil, or the ones of, uh, Camelot. <laughs> Gee, it sure is boring around here. My boy, those. <laughs> no, let me try that again. Gee, it sure is boring around here. My boy, your penis is all what true warriors strive for. Golly! <laughs> your Majesty, I'm asking you, I see the eye of the quarterback. Like, <laughs> I might actually emulate those games and being able to look and listen to all of the YouTube bullshit that you could ever gain out of that. And not only that, but you get to get some shitty gameplay produced by Nintendo itself and Philips CDI. <laughs> oh my god, the YouTube poop. Man, it's such a gem. <laughs> Your Majesty, Koridai. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. This is illegal, you know? <laughs> anyways. Anyways. And I'm going to be truly honest. There are some pretty cool stuff. There are some pretty good games and some other obscure games that I might just try. And YouTube poop. <laughs> Philips CDI, the the console for the good old YouTube poop. Nothing else. <laughs> good lord. Right. Like.
like you see, I'm just trying to move on, trying to enjoy a few video games while I can, trying to, you know, have a little fun, enjoy what's left in my life, trying to do my real life tasks and move on, and maybe, just maybe one day, things would get a bit better, and I would be having a real girlfriend instead of an online one. And who knows? In other words, I'm just a human. I'm just a human uh, that needs to live in fucking harmony as well. Uh, yeah. But like, honestly, it, it is what it is. Like, sometimes it is what it is. But. If I'm gonna be accepting reality, I'm gonna have to be accepting reality with at least a few things that remain that actually make me accept and move on and not, you know, exploding mentally. <clears throat> like, seriously. And, um, yeah. Like, yeah. We just gotta move on. Like, I'm a human like anyone else. And the fact that people, like, really condone cancel culture like that is just, uh, it's just ridiculous. So, uh, uh, right now, a few moments ago, I literally just finished talking with my grandma. And apparently, she literally called me to remind me that today is the Mother's Day. And, uh, I'm gonna be honest, <laughs> I'm, I'm doing absolutely nothing on that Mother's Day. In fact, I'm literally, I literally don't give a shit about the Mother's Day, really. Because, let's be real, my mom isn't worth getting presents for, since that she's just being that stupid and crazy over the, the tiniest things, you know, and she can't even communicate well was my damn dad. It's a fucking disjointed family, I'm telling you. But then again, what the hell do I expect from the terrible environment that used to be pure, clean, and decent, everything was right, everything had a good reason, you know, things were logical. Like right now, nowadays, we, we sure got a, we sure got a pretty decent house. There's lots of uh, Ultra HD 4K TVs and a PS4 Switch, lots of other games, and a pretty decent laptop for most of the time. But all that on the cost of, uh, you know, all that on the cost of literally having our lives destroyed, mentally, physically, and of course, there is barely any money to catch up with most of the important stuff. But oh well, again, what can you expect? Anyways, uh, and I'm gonna be honest, you know. I know it's getting kind of old and ridiculous making these diaries, especially when they reach like 41 diaries, but I just can't stop, you know. Like it, it became, it became a thing. It became a, became a thing where I just need to make those diaries. Otherwise, uh, who knows what could happen? <sighs> yeah. Like, allow me to remind you all that, um, that honestly. I don't even know right now, I'm not even reminding any of you are of uh, whatsoever. But, um, hey. Yeah. Thankfully, and I thank God deeply for it, that things are, that things are decent. And I hope this decency and peace of mind and peace of everything will last forever. Seriously, thank God deeply. Onto that, really. 
Otherwise, I don't even know where the hell I, or where the hell I could have been if it wasn't for lots of things, honestly. Well, I'm gonna stop right there, and I'm gonna see you all later today.